Now the so-called fiscal cliff. Republicans and Democrats remain deadlocked on Capitol Hill as the deadline moves closer and closer. So we wanted to know how Rhode Islanders would be affected if a deal is not reached in the next few weeks. Iowa to Sue's reporter Nick Nuosu is in the newsroom now covering the economy. A local economist says Rhode Island is on track to see financial gains in 2013, but he says that could change if leaders in Washington don't compromise over the so-called fiscal cliff. Economists say median home prices in Rhode Island are going up. They also predict an increase in construction, as well as growth in both the financial services and hospitality industries. It's getting better. Dr. Ed Maisie is a business professor at URI. He spoke at a conference about New England's economic outlook held at Bryant University Thursday. He says Rhode Island will see financial improvements from 2012 to 2013. But that could change if we go over the so-called fiscal cliff. This is going to create real problems in Rhode Island because Rhode Island has a significant defense industry and there's going to be some immediate decreases in employment. Tax cuts that have uh, disappeared in the past will come back as new taxes. Uh, and of course, that will mean less spending. The average Rhode Islander could see a tax increase of $2,000 yearly if a deal isn't made. Still, Maisie believes congressional leaders will compromise. We're going to be able to resolve some of it, but it will, it will definitely go into the early part of 2013. Maisie says the other thing that could impact Rhode Island's economic outlook is the current pension situation. Now, as we've been reporting, state and local governments would have to start rebudgeting depending on what happens. In the newsroom, Neka Nwosu, Eyewitness News.